Stargazers have a rare chance to watch Mercury's journey across the sun next week. It's called a transit. Mercury is just slightly larger than our moon. It's about 50 million kilometers from Earth. And a transit only occurs 13 times every 100 years. So it's a rare event. That's a given. Why not learn more about it, right? CBC senior science reporter Nicole Mortellaro is here with all of the bullet points. So this transit, not like my commute home. What <laughs> happens no. during this journey? <laughs> so basically, it's exactly that. It's quite simple. Uh, Mercury goes across the face of the sun and uh, it's going to start around 735 uh, a.m. <laughs> AM, AM uh, ET, okay, Eastern Standard Time. And it will peak, it'll get to the middle, the greatest, like it's called the greatest uh, uh, part of the eclipse, or eclipse of the transit. Uh -huh. um, and it's that will happen around 1040. And then Again, at 104, it will be roughly, uh, it will be finished up. So it's actually, it's something that's really exciting because it ha doesn't happen that often. But right. it's really important, don't look at the sun. Of course. <laughs> now, Monday's a busy day because it's Remembrance Day. So you can exactly. start out, if you start out and you go outside at 7.30, okay, when it begins, what yeah. are you going to see? Well, you have to go to some place that uh, they're using telescopes with a filter, a special filter. Okay. So at 7.30, you'll just see a little tiny black, a little, almost like a little bite out of the sun, but you need, it's very small across right. the face of the okay, sun. Okay, so I might skip the 731. Exactly. All right. <laughs> exactly. And then I go and I pay my respects to veterans and that happens yep. at 11 and then my next chance is? Well, still, it's going on. It goes on okay. for five and a half hours. So you can wander out to a local university. Yep. The Royal Astronomical Society of Canada has several locations across the country that are doing it. Look it up. Find out where you can go see it through the special telescope. Just pass on, wander on by and you can see it. The little okay. dot. Why is it so exciting for astronomers when this kind of transit happens, you know, 13 times a year? Well, it's 100, 100 years, years. Yeah. right. And well, because of that, right? It happens only, you know, 13 times, and that's Mercury. And the other thing is we mm -hmm. have to remember that there are only two planets between us and the sun. So it's Mercury, the innermost planet, and right. then Venus. So we only get to these two every so often. The next time Venus does it is 2117. So we're not going to see that happen for quite a while. So it's the rarity of the thing. And you know what? As astronomers, we love these, everything that's up in the sky. And so this is another one of them. Absolutely. And and your warning, just remind our viewers of that as well. Do not look at the sun without a proper uh, wear. Actually, I was going to say, some people might have eclipse glasses left over from 2017. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, right? but yeah. you know what? That's not going to work. Only because it's too, it's tiny. It's very tiny. Because of the different, the different colors on the lenses no, no, no. won't work for this. It's not that. It's not the lenses, but it's that you won't be able to see it because Mercury is so small. You need a magnification of at least 50 times or more. Okay, so you have to be really excited about this yes. to do all the work <laughs> yes. to get out there to see it. If you call me, Nicole, I'm with you, okay? <laughs> See, and you don't have to be there for the whole five and a half hour thing. You're right. Thank you for that. CBC Senior Science Reporter Nicole Mortellaro.